Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. Well, down here in Laredo. I got Austin kicked off, San Antonio kicked off, Laredo kicked off. Gotta be here by 2 o'clock. You hear that clicking? That's the four ways. I'm parked in the street, patiently waiting. They don't have no room. I can't even check in. Got you. Uh, Alright, I want to touch base by last night's video. Is this your story? Folks, I wasn't saying that I was quitting making videos. I did that a few weeks back. That's what that story was about. When I was going to quit making them for the uh, Bible study group. Uh, studying the Word. Don't know if it'll work out over here with the company. But we're talking and trying. The whole meaning of that story, of those three stories, was to be silent and wait. And that's what the Bible actually tells us. Be still and wait. Uh, my whole thing I was trying to get across is that often we prejudge or we assume or we think we know and we find out down the road that it ain't quite what we thought and that's what all three of them stories were uh, I was assuming that the owner of the company was just blowing me off and he wasn't I was assuming that posting them videos and studying the word was not reaching anybody and doing it not doing any good I found out differently I found it was reaching people and people that wanted help. Uh, the story about when I first started and was worried about the Holy Ghost and all that and it ain't in me and all this stuff. I found out that it really was. You know, so the whole story, the meaning behind that video is that despite it's not going the way that we think it should be going it's going the way that he wants it to go so if you're not thinking your prayers are getting answered then maybe you're not seeing the answer maybe they're not remember that old country song the greatest uh, prayer was unanswered or greatest gift was an unanswered prayer or whatever it was meaning that just because we're asking that doesn't mean that's what the Lord thinks that we need. It might not be the best for us at the time. So that's what I was trying to get across. And I had a gentleman that was having issues that's trying to turn his life over to God. And he thinks the devil's winning. And I was trying to let him know that you might be wrong. Here's three stories of my experiences where I thought I knew and it must not be happening because it wasn't happening the way I thought it should be and I find out differently so that's the whole moral of that story is be silent and wait and when I say be silent it don't mean just sit here I mean just chill out calm take a chill pill you know just give it a little bit of time give him a little bit of time now he can do all things and he can do them instantly but that ain't always how he works sometimes he has to manipulate the world that you're in to bring about the desires that he has for you which brings me to another subject that if you really want to work with the Lord and for the Lord you have to do his bidding you can't tell him well dad coming Lord I want to do this if you let me do this and I'll work for you, ah, you don't dictate to God. You just say, Lord, I'll do whatever. Just like I told you in that video. I told him, do something with this life of mine to make it worthwhile. I've done trashed it. Do something. And I figured I was totally useless. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm a hillbilly truck driver, you know? What in the world is he going to do to make use out of me? 
well he has his ways look at this YouTube channel spreading the word in my fashion or in my language however you want to say it uh, so just chill just chill give the good Lord time with that I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you got something out of it I hope it struck a chord in your heart and brought you a little closer to the Lord I hope he got you talking to him a little bit y'all remember God loves you and so do I he'll work through you if you give him the chance but he has to do it his way y'all have a blessed day now bye